Hello, CPs here. So today we're going to learn how to do four bar repeats in finale. Now this may sound easy, but it's a little bit more complicated than you might think. We want to create something like this, where it tells us to repeat the previous four measures. So normally if you want a one or two measure bar repeat, you just come over here to Staff Styles, highlight a measure, click Styles, apply style to score and parts, and we would want a one bar repeat. Keyboard shortcut is O. Two bar repeat, same thing. Highlight two measures, staff styles, apply staff styles to score and parts, and hit two bar repeat. Okay. That's normally how we do it. Let's just let's just put these all on one staff so that we can see that's how it looks. And again, if you want the keyboard shortcuts, it's O for one bar and T for two. But then begs the question, how do you do four bars? Now it's a little bit more complicated than you might think, because we're not actually going to do this as a staff style. Instead, we're going to do this as an expression. So first of all, there's a link to this document down below. It's by Peter Thompson, and you can find it on the finale form. See, Peter Thompson, and you can find it on the finale form. And first of all, we're going to save this as a library. You may have heard me talk about libraries before. It's, some, it's a way that you can import things into your document like this. So we're going to come up here to library, save library, and we want to do text expressions. Hit OK. Save it on your computer. I usually save it in the libraries over here, so we're going to call this four bar repeat. It's in the libraries folder. Hit save. And then next you want to come over here into your file, and we're going to load a library. So it takes us right to the library font, and we're going to do four bar repeat. Hit load, and nothing happens. That's because what we want to use is an expression. So we're going to highlight it, and you can see there's a new expression category, four bar repeat, assign, and you can see right in the center, there's a four bar repeat. So now to make it look blank like that, where there's no automatic rest, all you have to do is come up here to staff styles, apply staff styles to score and parts, blank notation, layer one. And there you have it. That is all there is for, to a four bar repeat. And if you want this to be in every single document, all you have to do is load the library into your staff styles and then it's there for anything you do in the future. So if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to like below. Each week I post new content about using Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss any new video, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.